I found a bug in COBOL 6.4. I have no idea how to report this bug since I'm not working for a shop. I'm retired and I use the Z Explorer mainframe to create how-to videos, but this bug needs to be reported, so I'm hoping somebody that sees this can duplicate the issue. This is Dinosaur Parkour, faster, better mainframe programming. The bug is related to getting a remainder when using divide verb. This is my proof of the problem program. Each of the parts of a division operation is defined. Dividend, divisor, quotient, and remainder. All are half words. All are native binary via the comp 5. All are unsigned. Notice that those fields are defined under a group item name, stuff, stuff, stuff. I did that for a reason I will explain in a minute. This shows the test, how the testing will be done. Line 23 through 28 are for test number one. This test is dividing 13 by 5, which should give a quotient of 2 with a remainder of 3. Line 25 is not doing anything, not directly. Notice that stuff, stuff. Stuff is being passed to this program. A31BR14 is the program that only contains a go back into the procedure division. It is a do nothing program. It does not look at, much less touch, stuff, stuff, stuff. But the compiler does not know that. The dividend and the divisor were populated on line 23 and 24. If line 25 was missed in the compiler on full optimization will determine that dividend and divisor are constant and the compiler will calculate the value rather, rather than doing the actual divide instruction. We know that A31BR14 did not change the 13 for the dividend or the 5 for the divisor, but the compiler does not. So the divide on line 26 has to be calculated at runtime. Both the quotient and the remainder are calculated at runtime rather than being pre-calculated at compile time. That is why I define all fields under the same group item. This test is repeated four more times. Line 31 to 36 and using a dividend of 10,003 with a divisor of 10,000. The results should be one with a remainder of three. Line 39 to 44 still use 10,003 for the dividend but change the divisor to 5,000. The results should be two with a remainder of three. Line 47 through 52. This divide, it, this is the divide that fell. This is test number four. Dividend of 35,354 with a divisor of 20,000 should get a quotient of one with a remainder of 15,354. Line 55 through 60, the divisor will change to 35K. The compiler is clean. This shows the release and maintenance level. That's the first half. This is for the front end portion of the compiler. At the bottom of the listing, the level for the back end portion is shown. It is time to run the test program. It is already complete. Let's look at it. We want to view the sys out. Test 1 had this correct result, 2 and 3. Test 2 is correct, so it's test 3, but test 4, that is wrong. The quotient is correct, but the remainder is flat out wrong. The remainder is greater than the divisor. Test 5 is correct. I changed the divisor from 20,000 to 35,000 and it got the correct remainder. The program was compiled with full optimization. Notice the op2. Change that to be op0. No optimization. It is time to see what the op0 
virgin did. Test four got the correct answer. Quotient of one were the remainder of 15,354. What about op one? Sadly, that one also gets erroneous results for test number four. I want to show why the fake call is required. The compiler option has been changed back to op two. Line 49 has been commented out. The call to the do nothing program for test four. Full optimization using op two means that the compiler attempts to calculate as much as possible at compile time. In the case of the divide on line 50, the compiler can calculate the quotient and the remainder. It does this because it knows that the dividend and the divisor did not change between line 47 and 48 and the divide verb on line 50. Test 4 had the correct remainder because the compiler calculated it at compile time. This is why the fake call to the do nothing program might be required when trying to duplicate IBM bug. This is a recap of the important lines of code if you want to see if your shop might have this problem. A few things of note. All the work fields are unsigned native binary half word. Diff sign separate was not a factor. This program is running on a Z14. The compiler was told to optimize for Z14 on line 3. However, test 4 failed for architecture level 10 and 11. So this does not seem to be a hardware level optimization issue. I am retired and using the Z Explorer machine. I do not have a contact and tech support. It would be awesome if one of my viewers is able to duplicate this issue and report it. Thank you for watching.